We need white water, Abby. Nice, look at you go. <laughs> wow. There you go, that's awesome. If, I only wish we had moving water. We just don't live near white water. Oh, that's so, Abby's getting it. This has got Abby's name all over it. And there is, a, oh, now, now, now what? Now what? Oh, uh, I have a big stick, hold on. This is a crazy exciting way to end boat week and it's because we've got one of the newest releases by Pro Boat. This is basically equivalent to an Arma Basher, but in the boat world and we are pumped to try it out. This thing is decked out with lights, a cool feature on the back end of the boat that we'll show you guys in a second, but I wanna point out, some of you may remember we featured a thousand dollar jet boat on the channel not too long ago by a different company, a different brand, and we'll talk about it in this video. And I want to remind everyone, again, that was a thousand dollars. Now we've got this brand new release by Pro Boat, the Jetstream Adventure Boat designed to drive in smaller spaces. It's even got reinforced plating on the bottom, a driver included, super bright LEDs. It looks like you, Nate. It's a little bit. <laughs> super bright LEDs <laughs> on the front and the back. And as I said, a cool little additional function that I can't wait to test out. It's water cooled and it is beefy. And remember, it's half the price of that thousand dollar jet boat. So that's really exciting. I am pumped and we're at a very cool spot to run this. So let's power it on and see how it does. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but we are running on 4S power. That's a 5,000 milliamp battery. And I love the tray system. Place our battery in and just lock it into place. Now our battery just plugs in here. Might have to rotate it, I do. But here's how it comes out. Just pull on the ring and the whole thing comes out. I think that's awesome. There's a switch for the receiver. We're plugged in here. It's a little tight, but that could just be my Gen 1 battery, I don't know. That wire I feel like should be like a half inch longer. So here's the receiver. This just moved. So check this out guys. See how this moves? I'll show you something else really cool. And then we have a switch for LEDs. Boom, oh nice. Ooh, the backlights are like cop lights. What, really? Yeah, that's so cool. I wasn't expecting that. That's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, they did a good job on this. <laughs> now, you guys might notice back here we have two servos. One is on the left and that's steering our little rudder, so to speak, back here. And this has another function and I'm gonna show that to you when I pick up this boat. Well, that's nice, that's super bright, like the flashing cop lights, but check this out. When we push B, that punches down, which is gonna drastically affect how we drive this thing. If I push it again, it comes up, and if I hold A, I think that kicks out all the debris that could be in the boat, so it's... That's cool. So it has its own... If you're running in tons of debris and it gets sucked into the jet, propulsion system, you can press and hold A and it'll clear it out. So this is gonna be so cool. Have fun with that mud, Nate. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, okay. This is sweet. This is sweet. <laughs> it's a stunt. Oh, the jet stream. Do you see the jet shooting up out of the water? The, uh, yeah. Look at the water coming up out of the top. I was worried, like, will this be, oh no, let's see that. There's yeah, I here. thought you already saw that, but I guess you didn't. We can run it in these leaves. <laughs> You're gonna make our, your own waves. I was kind of bummed that the water wasn't moving here today. This is so but awesome. I think you've got it under control. Oh, I gotta watch that. Oh, no, 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 no. It's oh! Tough. It's tough. <laughs> it is armor plated. I've got to remember, this is a jet boat, which means if I want it to turn, I have to use my power with it. If I am just, if I'm just cruising, if I'm just cruising and I let go of throttle, now watch, I cannot steer, right? It's, yeah. it's working, but it has to have some power. So Nate, Pro Boat told me that if Arma made a boat, this would be it. So drive it like an Arma, that's right, what that's they said. What I was talking about at the beginning that it's a basher. Now, what I wanna test is that one little function where I adjust the, uh, now first of all, let's see, we're gonna do reverse thrust. 
As most boats, reverse does almost nothing. But if I push B and I drop that little thing down, oh man, look at that. That is, look at that. So is that mainly for like moving water? If I'm getting stuck in something maybe, or I push B right now, and then I push B again, it's like maybe if I want to turn on a dime, I don't know. I've got to play around with that some, <laughs> but it shoots, you see what it's doing? It's shooting the water down. Back behind Straight. it, yeah. yeah. So, wow. Oh, this is cool. All right, come on, <laughs> come on. Boat hog, on, boat on, hog. On. Come on. Turn around and then I'll pass it to you. Here we go, one nice fast blast. And we'll turn it sharp. No, oh, mm. don't hit the rocks. And then there, can that save us? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's almost like brakes. I think that's what that's for. Like if you're Not running fast and you need to stop, boom. That's, that's like brakes, that's what that is. That's totally brakes. All right, we are going downstream a little more so we can hopefully get closer to these rocks. Now the <laughs> yeah, you're gonna smash some rocks today, that's for sure. Because it takes a minute to get used to a jet boat. Bonuts! <laughs> No, you got it. Now you might you might be getting some leaves sucked in there. So what you got to do, get it a little. No, it's fine. But it, yeah, there could be leaves in there. So get it closer to us. Now press and hold A. Hold it. Just hold it. Just keep holding it. And it's gonna flush the system. See that? There you go. Okay. That. Yeah. 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 And it worked. So we probably sucked in some leaves because it was definitely slowing us down. <laughs> we need we need white water, Abby. Nice, look at you go. <laughs> we just need like smoke on the bayou now. Oh, wrong way! Oh, wrong way! You literally that? cracked into the rocks. Turn the wrong way. Wow. There you go. That's awesome. If, I only wish we had moving water. We just don't live near white water. Oh, that's so... Abby's getting it. This has got Abby's name all over it. Oh, that's okay. It's got the armor plating. Man, this is cool. <laughs> that little driver is so cool too. And you can adjust his, uh, he can be repositioned a little bit. And there is, a, oh, now, now, now what? Now what? Oh, uh, I have a big stick, hold on. I mean, could reverse get oh, it out? No, Definitely you're, not. You are beached. I am, I am beached. beached. <laughs> that is a big stick, mate. Yeah. I think what I want to do is just kind of push you back in the water. Please. Right, Thank you, my hero. All right, saved the boat, saved the boat. Oh, I love that we were able to actually test the, the, oh, now if you beach it over on that side, we cannot save it. So please be careful. <laughs> I am not swimming today. It is fairly cold. I like how this turn kind of just like skids. Oh yeah, that's, that's like the whole. Like a whole, drifting boat. That's the whole point. Man, we are taking this on vacation and finding some white water. Can I see that? What, what she's freaking out about is that right there, you guys. That fishing line hanging from the branch. She's trying not to hit it. Yeah. Man. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. We need to drive it at night, too. Oh, look how much you are. Disturbing the peace here. Abby's bashing boat. This is. It is Turn around. Very powerful. Remember, this is 4S, you guys. Okay, so you're making waves and then. No, there you go. Remember, it's, it's so hard to remember to steer under power isn't it like you want to let off the juice 
You gotta retrain yourself a little bit when you're driving a jet boat like this. Wow. Okay, can I drive it one more time? Look at you go. And I feel like it was short. My run was very short lived. I only let you drive for two minutes. <laughs> here we okay. go. Here we go. It's actually real. Oh, I feel like I feel like you've eaten up most of the battery, maybe. Probably. There, there's no telemetry on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely getting low. Or do that one. little clear thing, cause that fixed it a couple times. Man, it's awesome. Hold the A thing. Boom. Uh oh. Beached whale. Yeah, I, I, I hit the servo. Oh, that's so nice for turning around. Here. Now, it definitely got sucked in. So hold on, we're gonna yeah. hold A. That's all it really does is forward, reverse, forward, reverse, but at like the perfect timing. So if you're sucking in leaves and grass, that is a really nice way to clear it out. And then I really think if you push B on this servo and that watch the tail, watch the tail, it's going to drop in the water. Boom. Now steer with that too. And you can really pull away from the edge of the water. It's so cool that they did that. Look, I just ran over those sticks like it was nothing. See that? I want to hold A and clear it out again. Man, that's cool. This might okay. be my new favorite boat. My battery's definitely low, so I'm going to bring it in before we completely lose it. Oh. Yeah, that was. I knew that was going to be close. <laughs> and we sucked in something for sure, so. Okay, let's bring it in. We have a very successful maiden run, and I just want to make sure we are able to pull the boat out of the water. <laughs> I tend to run jet RC jets until the battery dies, and then they come down. I don't want to do that to the jet boat. Because then you're going to go in. <laughs> I think this is probably the best way to do this here and today, is to beach it intentionally. And it's going to get a little muddy, but that's okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. That's easy on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed that stick actually thinking I would need to push Big it up stick. under the canopy and lift it up out of the water, but it worked out really well today. So that was a really fun first run and we were pretty hard on it with the rocks over there. So check it out on the bottom. You All we can any? see is a little bit of mud, but I don't see cracks? anything bringing on water at all. Any scuffs or cracks or? No. I hit pretty hard. You did. We'll have to take it to a lake or another body of water too and just see how it runs there. And let's do our traditional water test. This is just magnetic, just so you know. And all these, all of this blue and gray, that's actually like a foam pad. Oh, neat. So it's really cool. You could sit characters on there or whatever. Let's pull that out and look in the back bottom of the boat here. We have just about a half teaspoon of water or so. I'm trying to show it. Hard to see. Hard to there see, but very little water. Very little water. And uh, let's just save our battery and turn the lights off. But before we do, man, that is bright. <laughs> <laughs> Night running on this would be a no brainer and super cool. So we'll turn that off and turn that off. It just felt like it was getting low. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just my imagination. That slides in and locks in place. Foam is on the front here too. It's just a foam pad. They made such an amazing boat here. Uh, very, very cool and unique. And didn't you say this is your new favorite boat when we were uh, running? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is my boat. It can be your boat. That's fine. I think it comes in two colors, doesn't it? There are two colors. Yeah, yeah so the other can... one is a little more of the traditional shreddy uh, look, I think. It's uh, maybe purplish a little. I can't remember. I it. But we'll have it linked in the description box below. And I think there's a few things that are very important to talk about here. One is the fact that this is linked in the description box. And if you plan on buying it or any RC boat or any RC, please consider clicking that link to pull up the website and buy your RC because we do make a small kickback at no extra cost to you. It's like you're supporting a local hobby shop when you do that. Uh, it just helps our channel and our family so we can keep making content so you guys can check stuff out before you buy it. And we mentioned we had a thousand dollar RC jet boat that was basically designed to do what this is doing, but I believe this is doing it even better. This is amazing for small spaces. I mean, you saw how tight we were turning here and wiping out and banging against stuff. That other boat, the only thing it had that this one doesn't have was a bilge. And that's because it would take on so much water it needed a bilge. <laughs> if a boat's made well, it shouldn't need a bilge pump, right? There were no lights on that one. And the funny thing was 
the stickers weren't included and that was one of the only negative things we said about the thing and the uh owner of that company that sent us that boat freaked out when we said that about the stickers and they just would not let up about that video it was getting tens of thousands of views and they emailed us constantly so we sent the boat back we sent the it's boat technically back. ours they wanted us to remove the video and redo a video and you know tell them uh, tell our audience we made mistakes and the stickers are easy or what well, you know just all kinds of communication problems and then and like a year later he sent another very bully email so i blocked him and then deleted the video off of youtube one of the only times i've ever let a bully win and uh to this day it still bothers us but i think it's really cool to see this a is better 10 this times wins. better boat for half the price and it so, looks so cool yeah it is very nice that light bar was uh, just this pro boat nailed it with this because i was getting kind of worried are they going to release any cool boats this year this is probably the best but it's not your traditional boat it's not like a lake speed racing boat but it is really fun and abby and i have always been about fun so but for today and getting the opportunity to jump in front of the camera and share this experience with you guys i want to thank god because uh, we've had some ups and downs in the last week with abby getting her gallbladder completely cut out and all kinds of crazy stuff but we're still here making videos for you guys and with you guys and for that i'm grateful I also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. And I want to say a special thanks to a lot of, we have a handful of new Patreon supporters to help us with our medical bills, which are coming and we're trying to brace for impact. So massive thanks to our new Patreon supporters and especially our existing Patreon supporters. If you love Boat Week and I, Abby, we both need to pick our favorite boat of the week. Yeah, Duh. We always pick. Did we have to even talk about that? Well, you know. I mean, I love the Sonic Wake. For speed and power, the Sonic the Wake. Wake is amazing. I but agree. there's just something that hits different about this one, and I love it. I love that it is a, a local, it's a basher. It's a yeah. real boat basher. basher. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I think it wins for me, too. Um, <laughs> nothing against the budget boats on the channel or anything, but you pass the controls of this to anybody, and they're going to have a blast. Okay, well, if you do have a need for speed and you wanna get like three times faster than this on an open lake, we'll have an amazing boat video for you popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.